All right, y'all, we are back with another video. And man said it ain't so. This judge, this New York judge to me is just per evil. This man, I can't see how this man has not been fired yet. This judge is so freaking corrupt. I even get mad when I got to call him a judge because he don't act like a judge. He's one-sided. He's a judge that's just trying to take down Donald Trump. And then he turned around with this video here coming from Doug in exile. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go show Doug some love. But when I seen this title, I'm like, yes, this judge is definitely just per evil. I, I, I mean, this man should have been fired. And he got Melania Trump victim of a uh, New York judge prevents Donald Trump from attending mom's funeral. This is just sick. And they allow this judge to constantly keep doing this. And why? Just because they don't like Donald Trump, they are allowed to just get away with anything. They literally can just do anything to Donald Trump. That's the reason why now it is just so scary. That's why we constantly have to keep praying for Donald Trump, man, because it's getting scary and scarier. Because these folks are just just doing anything at this point at this moment. They try to take out Donald Trump, try to stop him from doing this, stop him from doing that, trying to get him locked up, trying to get him took off ballots. It, it is just crazy. This man just went through this all of last year, and they already starting this year off with the same bull crap. They mad because he just won an hour. They mad about that. He won by a landslide, a big margin. But uh, let's go ahead and dive straight into this, and let's get the details of what happened and stuff like that. Uh, hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everybody showing so much support. Everybody been leaving positive comments in the comment section. I also want to thank everybody who clicked on the video for the very first time. I appreciate all of you. Like I said, make sure you watch to the very end. It will really, really help me out. YouTube will share it so more people can see my reaction. So please watch the entire video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Hit that like button. And uh, let's dive straight into this, man. But like I said, at this point, this judge is just evil. We're following Trump back to New York. This involves Melania Trump and her mother, who recently passed away, and her funeral is in the next couple of days. And Trump wanted to go to the funeral, and a New York judge is preventing him from going because he has to weigh in on the E. Jean Carroll trial against him for... This also deals a little bit... That he does do a brief mention of Barron Trump also that I think is heartwarming. Let's get to the news. I'm Doug in exile. This is where the happy patriots are. This is to, this is to fill you in on what's happening with the E. Jean Carroll lawsuit that's going on right now. Trump has already was already declared guilty of doing the bad thing to her. That doesn't mean he did it. I'm not saying he's innocent either, but I'm saying it does not prove he did it. This is a Democrat judge, a Hillary Clinton buddy. So wow. there's no way we can know if Trump is getting justice. This is from NPR.com. Trump returns to New York courtroom for second E. Jean Carroll defamation trial. Another New York trial against former President Donald Trump is expected to begin today. The second defamation case brought by writer E. Jean Carroll. So the first one was a civil case where they found, found him guilty, and now they're going to work on the what the fine's going to be. He already paid her $5 million on that case, by the way. And this is all, you know, New York is corrupt. So all these it judges, is. they can run these cases against him. It they, is corrupt. Know, they could probably run another hundred more against him. Carol previously brought a lawsuit against Trump, alleging rape her in a Manhattan apartment store and then defamed her when he denied her story. Last spring, a jury found Trump had sexually abused Carol and then defamed her awarding her $5 million in damage, uh, a jury, a New York jury, a Democrat jury, just to be, that's honestly what it is. I mean, they're a bunch of Democrats. But this trial, which is expected to wrap up this month, is for a separate incident of defamation, specifically when the President Trump said Carol, quote, is not his type. So they're going to bring this into court. What are they going to do? Prove that she is his type? But that <laughs> is crazy. considered uh, defamation now worth more than $5 million. If you say of a girl publicly, she's not my type. I didn't say that. That's what the article says. Farrell had filed this defamation lawsuit four years ago, but was blocked by Trump's attorney general, Bill Barr. This one was interesting. I didn't know this because remember Bill Barr, everyone says he's a traitor, um, you know, that he hates Trump or whatever, but Trump, but Barr did block this case to prevent to allow Trump to continue with his presidential work. 
He argued that Trump spoke within the bounds of his office as president. So I don't get why they can go back into it now. This sounds like double jeopardy. Yeah. But last summer, the Biden administration's Justice Department, that'll tell you everything you need to know. The Justice Department, Merrick Garland and all those goons, Democrat goons, they reversed the decision that Trump had immunity allowing the trial to proceed. That's weird that they have reversed Barr's previous statement on Trump. Quote, I have no idea who this woman is. This is Trump. I have absolutely no idea. The whole thing is ridiculous, he told reporters last week. I'm going to go to it and I'm going to explain I don't know who the hell she is. Mm. The former president, fresh off a resounding win in the Iowa caucuses, is not required to attend the trial. Trump's lawyer, Alina Haba, requested the trial be moved and notified the judge that Trump would be unable to attend the trial on Wednesday, tomorrow, and Thursday this week because he'll instead attend the Florida funeral of his mother-in-law, who passed away last week. So that's Melania's mother passed away. Remember, Melania was taking care of her during Christmas, mm -hmm. and all of the goons in media said, oh, she's missing from the Trump family portrait, Christmas portrait. It's because she was taking care of her ailing mother. Good daughter. Trump is also slated for several campaign events in New Hampshire this week, including one Wednesday night. So that one raised a few eyebrows that, hey, you said you needed it time off for a funeral, and now you're doing a campaign event Wednesday night in New Hampshire. Well, the funeral takes place during the day, okay? It's not a night event. So again, right. that's a made-up story against yeah. him. New York District Judge Lewis Kaplan, this is the Democrat goon, denied the request but will allow the trial, which is only expected to last a few days, to slip next until next Monday if Trump's testimony is left. But this judge is cruel and mean just to not give him the space. Last week, Kaplan said, quote, the fact that Mr. Trump sexually abused, indeed, Miss Carroll has been conclusively established. No, it has not been conclusively established, just so you know. I don't know, you don't know, this judge doesn't know. It hasn't been conclus conclusively established. It has been testified and he was found guilty in a court of law by a Democrat judge and a Democrat jury. There's a big difference. Thereby, It really seemed like Trump can't get a fair trial. It's like when he go to court, it always a Democrat judge. It always somebody that don't like Donald Trump. It seemed like all of these court cases is always one-sided. It always a Democrat judge. Obviously, they not going to like Donald Trump. They don't want what's best for him. They won't even, This judge won't even allow the man to even go to his mother-in-law funeral. This is just per- evil this is sick I, I mean come on man and they're going to continue to do this they're going to say he did this he did that with no proof but they're going to push the agenda to say he did because they don't like him so they they, they they want him to feel bad they want him to go down they want him in jail they want him away they don't want him to be the president so whatever it's going to take they're going to try to put it on him. And Trump come out and say, hey, I don't know who this woman is. I don't know. She's just trying to get some money. I don't know who she is. But then you will get these Democrat judges to be like, oh, yes, you do. You know who that is. You know who that is. Why? Because they just trying to pin anything they can on Donald Trump that's going to make them be in a bad light. That's what they, they're just what they goal are. And it's just crazy. Blocking Trump's lawyers from arguing this week that he did not, Carol, Ahead of the start of the trial, Kaplan underscored that this trial is limited to the issue of damages sustained as a result of Trump's statements made in 2019. They're just trying him for damages to see how much money he owes her for saying she's not his type. Left to be decided in this trial is how much money Trump must pay Carol. The penalty is expected to be higher than the first one. The trial in Manhattan will take place a day after the Iowa caucuses and as Voters, that's today, that's right now, as voters in New Hampshire are preparing to cast their ballots in next week's Republican primary. In a press conference last week, Trump doubled down that he believed, and they say without evidence, that this trial is politically no motivated. No, yeah. there's more evidence. There's a million times more evidence that this these trials are all politically motivated yeah. than there is that Trump raped E. Jean Carroll. 
That's right. It is political motivated. We all know that. We all know this is a witch hunt. We ain't stupid. They want they want to make it seem like we are stupid. We ain't stupid. We know what their agenda is. We know they don't like this man. We know they want what's bad for this man because they don't like him. And we got to sit here and constantly just listen to them and see them just do all these crazy things to this man. And ain't nothing we can do about it. And it's just crazy. Like I said, the, again, I still feel like Donald Trump is going to get out of all of this crap. And we're going to be sitting back like, man, look what Donald Trump went through. But he overcame everything. And it, 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 this is just sick, man. These corrupt judges, it's like everywhere they, everywhere he got to go to a courtroom, this, it, it always a judge that's corrupt. It always a judge that don't like him. It's just a fact. You can, I, you know, I can't weigh in on what happened with E. Jean Carroll. I don't know. I didn't see it, but I know there's evidence that this is politically motivated. Oh yeah. Trump. All of these lawsuits are. Trump blasts judge for denying trial delay for mother-in-law's funeral. Quote, he is a bad person. That's the same judge. It would not cost the judge anything to delay this thing other than they don't want Trump to get his delays. They're trying to push, push, push. And they're going, look, mother-in-law's funeral, it's not like that's a once-in-a-lifetime event. It's a once-in-a-lifetime event, you goon. Here's Trump's truth social post. Crazed Trump-hating judge Lewis Kaplan, who presided over the election interference witch hunt, disguised as a trial of a woman I have never met before, and celebrity photo line does not count. He knows that there's a photo of him standing with her. I had no idea who she was, which is totally believable. Was asked if he could delay, was asked if he could delay this rigged political scam for one day so that I could attend the funeral of my beloved mother-in-law with my wife. Wow. The former and next first lady of the United States. I like that. And, and this judge said, no, he's a bad person, an even worse judge. I believe that. Oh, too. Yeah. Appointed by and friends with Clinton, he purposely scheduled mm. this hoax right in the middle of the important New Hampshire primary. This is the second trial. They said he's friends with Clinton? I'm t <laughs> this, just like Trump said, this is a rigged political scam. Oh, concerning man. the same person who is represented and financed by political operatives. It could have taken place at any time, including months ago. Can anyone imagine a husband not going to his wife's mother's funeral over a made up story, a story that has been allowed to simmer by a really bad judge who suffers from Trump oh. derangement syndrome. Yep. That all seems reasonable. I can see why you'd be mad. I would be even angrier. I would too. I would say even worse things if I was mm -hmm. kept from my mother-in-law's funeral. How dare they? And then here's Melania Trump's post is with deep sadness that I announce the passing of my beloved mother, Amelia. Amelia Navs was a strong woman who always carried herself with grace, warmth, and dignity. She was entirely devoted to her husband, daughters, grandson, son-in-law. We will miss her beyond words. I just wanted to end on that because it's a very human moment for Melania Trump. Here's mm -hmm. another cool human moment where Trump talks about his son, Baron. Trump reveals son, Baron, is so tall at six foot seven. That's one inch shorter than me because he ate all of Melania's mom's food, but says he likes soccer and not <laughs> basketball at the Iowa victory rally. So that's a neat moment for Trump as a yeah. dad and his son is growing up tall and proud. And Melania wants to go to her mom's funeral and Trump's not allowed because of this scumbag Democrat partisan judge. He will not get justice. This is uh, election interference. I exactly, Doug. Election interference. That's exactly what it is. You telling me that. So Trump said this is a made up story. Like I said, like Doug said, we don't know the details of, of, of that. But obviously Trump said he don't know who this woman is. And he said it's a made-up story, but yet this judge is so bad and got Trump derangement syndrome that he couldn't put this the court date off for one day to let this man go to his mother-in-law's funeral. It's just per evil. That is just wrong. 
wow, man. Uh, like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Shout out to the ones who stayed to the very end. I really, really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. And uh, like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.